Hey everyone, it is Dr. Jody, and I'm coming live every day. I do a training ride between now and September 19th when I start my 200 mile ride through Colorado. Um, I was just looking for my decks. Hold on, got my bike here. All right, my decks, how am I doing? I'm a little, I'm going, well, 92 right now. Little, little roller coaster, not too bad. Um, I'm at the end of my ride. So four hours, took four hours of riding and um, I do low carb throughout the ride. Well, so meaning I eat a small amount of carb consistently throughout the ride. I do about 45 grams of carb in the shot blocks per hour. And um, I dose real small amounts, like a half a unit here or there. Um, I'm a little tired, as you can imagine. I'll show you my view. I'm always, I'm in Seattle, so oh, I guess we don't have much of a view going on today. Oh, there we go, nice, right? Um, Whew. Yeah, so 40 miles, that's the longest I've done in a long time. And we can do it. I'm here to inspire everybody with type one that we can live these inspiring, adventurous lives. And I think I need a nap. <laughs> I think I need a nap. How's your blood sugar? Are you riding your bike? What are you doing for exercise? Um, oh, I, I was gonna show you more with my CGM. So what did I have for breakfast? I had a little bit of oatmeal with banana actually, but I put some chia seeds and peanut butter in it to slow it down. And then I dosed about 50% for that. And then I didn't start doing the shot blocks until about hour two. And um, once you get into a second hour of exercising, you often don't need um, insulin for the carbs that you're eating, as long as you're doing about 45 carbs an hour spread out, not all at once, and you're doing some intense biking or hiking or something like that. So that's my kind of tip. Um, but the way that you don't have massive highs and lows when you exercise is you don't take tons of insulin and you don't eat tons of carbs. That puts you on a roller coaster. So if you just kind of small, small, small doses and small, small, small carbs, you can stay steady. So that is my goal on a regular basis. And um, yeah, so it looks like I need, I might need a little bit of fuel here pretty soon because I'm pretty sure that's gonna flatten out because I don't have much insulin on board. Um, so a 92 down arrow, it really depends the severity on it. It really depends on how much insulin you have. When I don't have much insulin on board, the 92 is, can't really come crashing down. Now I do have to pay attention to delayed onset hypoglycemia. So after you ride for four hours, your muscles have burnt up a lot of the stored glycogen that they normally keep in their muscles. So now over the next several hours, my muscles are going to be refueling all their glycogen stores, which means they're going to be taking glucose in and they don't need insulin to do that. So I'll probably underdose for the next meal I eat and maybe even the meal after that. So lunch and dinner. All right. I hope you're enjoying my inspirational training rides. I'm coming to you live every day. I do a training ride. If you'd like some more inspiration, I have lots of videos and resources on my website and an exciting program coming up in October. So check out my website at drjodynd.com. If that doesn't come up for you, all you have to do is Google the words Dr. Jody and diabetes and you'll find me. So thanks for watching today's video and I'll see you on my next training ride. Ian, yes, I am in Seattle. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.